In our everyday activities, we need energy. And when we say activities, hindi lang yan yung mga um, exhausting physical activities like walking or doing any sort of physical exercise. Kasi when we think, when we breathe, and even in our sleep, we use energy. Yan, ganyan kahalagang energy. But the question is, how do we process that energy? Okay? To answer that, we will zoom in down to the cellular level. And then we will look into metabolism. Pero bago tayo magsimula, it would be good if you first watch my video about the characteristics of life kasi nabigyan ko ng introduction doon yung metabolism from its definition to the general stepwise process and magbibigay na lang ako ng link sa comment or sa description. Alright? As I said, kailangan natin ng energy generally to survive. When we look at the cellular level, napakaraming chemical reactions ang nangyayari sa ating mga cells. Thousands of biochemical reactions to keep us alive. Kailangan ng mga cells natin ng energy to do these chemical processes. Okay? And also, our cells release energy that we can use to do our activities. In this video, we will focus on two metabolic pathways. Anabolic and catabolic pathways. When we say anabolic, it requires energy. When we say catabolic, it produces energy. And these two pathways are the general component of metabolism. Okay? Now, ano naman ng importance nitong mga pathways na ito? Bakit may mga pathways pa? When we talk of metabolism, mayroong series of interconnected biochemical reactions kasi. Ibig sabihin, may mga steps yan. Kaya nga may pathway. And eventually, there would be the product or products that our cells need to do its jobs. Alright? I-discuss natin separately yan. Uh, yung dalawang pathways na yan. First is anabolic pathway. Kapag anabolism, it requires an input of energy to synthesize complex molecules from simpler ones. That is why it is good to think na ang anabolic pathway ay building pathway. Kasi in anabolism, there is a requirement of energy to build complex molecules from simpler ones. Okay? Mula sa simple, papunta sa complex. Yun lang yun. Okay? Ano ang pinaka-classic example natin dyan? Photosynthesis ng mga photosynthetic organisms like plants, which is uh, shown by this equation. It only means that 6 molecules of carbon dioxide plus 6 water molecules plus solar energy yield glucose and 6 oxygen molecules. Remember, kapag nasa right side ng equation, yan yung product natin. At kung mapapansin natin, yung glucose, which is given by the chemical formula C6H12O6, is a more complex molecule compared to carbon dioxide and water na nandun sa, sa kabilang side. Okay? An ano naman yung ibig sabihin nun? Ano bang meron sa an anabolism na nabanggit natin? Nagbibuild ng complex molecules from simpler ones. Diba? And this is true for photosynthesis. Okay? Kapag naman nasa left side of the chemical equation, reactants yan. Ibig sabihin, yan yung mga requirement para ma-form yung mga nasa right side. Kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong energy. Eh, di ba? Sabi ko, kailangan ng input of energy, which is true to this equation. Okay? Iba pang example, yung synthesis ng proteins from amino acid. Yan. Ang amino acid, ito yung building block ng protein. At kung makikita natin sa napakasimpleng illustration na ito, yung mga bilog-bilog, yan yung mga amino acids. And uh, these amino acids, through peptide bonds, form a more complex structure. And yun yung protein na nasa product side. Okay? Isa pang example ay yung synthesis ng DNA strands from nucleotides. Yung nucleotide, ito yung building block ng DNA. Okay? Which is... Um, inuclic acid. Kung makikita rin natin dito sa illustration, meron tayo mga nucleotides and these form a more complex structure of nucleic acid okay, which can be DNA or RNA. Um, uh, these biosynthetic processes that I mentioned require energy. Okay? And these synthesized compounds, yung DNA, RNA, protein, kailangan natin for survival. Now, ano naman ang catabolism? Catabolic pathway. Catabolic pathways involve breaking down of complex molecules into simpler ones. 
So, ang catabolism ay isang degradative process. Ibig sabihin, dinedegrade, binibreak down yung mga complex molecules so that we can have simpler ones. Okay? Kabaliktaran to ng anabolism. At dahil kabaliktaran siya ng anabolism, ibig sabihin ng energy ay napuproduce sa isang catabolic pathway. Di ba? Sa anabolism kasi, kailangan natin ng energy. Sa catabolism, napuproduce yung energy. Kabaliktaran. Ano yung classic example natin dyan? Yung cellular respiration, okay, which is shown by this equation, it only means that glucose, yan ay uh, simple sugar, plus 6 molecules of oxygen, yield 6 molecules of carbon dioxide, plus 6 water molecules, plus energy. Ayan ang energy. Kapag nasa right side of the equation yung energy, ibig sabihin, product siya. So that means, nare-release ang energy. At itong equation na ito, ang isang, ex ng, uh, ang isang example ng catabolic pathway. At sige, i-compare natin ito sa equation ng photosynthesis. Ano ang mapapansin natin? We shall notice that the equation for photosynthesis is the opposite of the equation for cellular respiration. Okay? At para na rin natin sinabi na ang anabolism ay opposite ng catabolism, which is true. Okay? Kadalasan pati, ano, ini-employ ng catabolic reactions ang hydrolysis, wherein um, gumagamit ng water to break down a more complex molecule to simpler ones. So, uh, ito yung hydrolysis. For a general reaction, uh, we have... Molecule AB reacting with water, yielding to AH and BOH as products of hydrolysis. As you can see, water is consumed in the reaction and also water is used to break the bond between species A and species B. Okay, catabolism yan kasi nagkaroon tayo ng uh, simpler molecules as products pero ngayon gumamit tayo ng water. Okay? Um, it is also good to note na itong mga biochemical reactions na ito, those under catabolism, anabolism, ay hindi lang basta-basta nagpo-proceed. Bakit? Kailangan nila ng help from a protein na tinatawag nating enzyme. Ang enzyme, ito yung nagpa-facilitate, nagka-catalyze ng mga steps in biochemical reactions, be it through catabolism or anabolism. Yan. So, meron din ako ditong <laughs> pangmalakasang illustration. Ayan. Dito muna tayo sa anabolism. Please take note na ito ay, uh, na dahil ito ay anabolism, ito ay nagre-require ng energy. Okay? Kailangan ng energy. Requirement ng energy. However, sa illustration ko ay hindi ko na ipinakita dahil ang purpose natin dito ay makita yung enzymes. Okay? Mag-focus tayo sa enzymes. Itong mga circle, ito yung enzyme. And itong kulay, ano ba to apricot na parang may sharp edges, ay mga simple molecules. Now, kapag kinatalize, finacilitate ng enzyme yung reaction, it would enable this simple molecule to be part of a more complex molecule, which will then be used by our body for a specific function. Okay? This complex molecule can be a protein, which can be used to strengthen our muscles. Ano? At kung mapapansin nyo, nagsynthesize tayo ng complex molecule from simpler ones. Okay? Which is true for anabolic pathways. Kaya nga tinatawag din natin itong building pathway. And again, this process requires energy. Alright? And isa pa sa isa pang illustration, ano, ganun pa rin yung mga circles and yung mga circles, enzymes, and then itong shapes na to, na uh, color apricot na may sharp edges, yun yung complex molecule natin. Now, with the action of enzymes, we can have these simpler molecules. And this is true for catabolism, wherein we break down complex molecules to form simpler ones. Okay? And of course, energy is released. Alright? Hindi lang natin pinakita yung uh, release ng energy kasi ang uh, gusto natin makita dito ay yung action ng enzyme. Okay? At hopefully, malinaw sa atin yung difference nitong dalawang metabolic pathway and that's all for this lesson kung saan dinifferentiate natin yung catabolism and anabolism. Sa next videos natin, pag-uusapan naman natin yung mga metabolic processes involved in the human organ system.